Ahlan wa sahlan Jazz, welcome back, peace be upon you, assalamu alaikum. So today we're gonna do something very interesting, we'll be uh, testing and seeing which device is more stable, uh, the smartphone versus tablet guys, which is more, uh, let's just say, more powerful, more stable, more efficient. Uh, we'll be using the same processor guys, we have the Poco F3 Redmi K40 on the left side versus the Xiaomi Mi Pad 5 Pro with the Snapdragon 870. Uh, on the left side I do have here 12 GB RAM variant while I'm having here the 6 GB RAM variant of the Mi Pad 5 Pro. Regarding the benchmarking, yes, slightly, uh, it should be higher, higher, it should be higher on the Poco F3 Redmi K40, uh, but we are not that very interested regarding the benchmarking right now with Antutu Geekbench. Mainly, what we are uh, interested in this test here is, uh, of course, we are interested in the benchmarking, but we are interested in the sustained performance, uh, thermals, heating, overheating, and throttling. Let's see here what's going to happen. So you can see myself these the apps which I'm going to be testing: the Antutu Benchmark, Geekbench 5, 3D Mark, GFX Bench, and CPU throttling test. Yes. So with no overdue, let's begin. Uh, of course, the buying links from the description to purchase these devices. Okay, before everything, I need to let you know what I'm having here regarding the setup. So I'm having the Wi-Fi enabled, Bluetooth enabled, GPS enabled on all three devices and screen brightness is at maximum. But have that in mind that the Redmi K40 Pro, uh, Redmi K40 Poco F3 does have, a, uh, of course, a brighter screen, brighter screen, remember that, brighter screen. Uh, nevertheless, that should be it. I just checked the GFX band. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. It doesn't want to work. So we're going to begin with the Antutu benchmark. And please make sure to follow the battery temperature and the CPU temperature. CPU temperature right now for the regular use, guys. Regular use. Just cooling right now. You can see by yourself the CPU temperature and battery temperature is higher with the Redmi K40 Poco F3. Which is crazy, guys. Check it out. Difference just right now uh, using normally these two different uh, devices with the same processor. The same processor, guys. Crazy, man. <laughs> okay, test one and two, two. Checking here the battery. Uh, again, CPU and battery temperature 33, 28. Already a bit rising here with the Redmi K40 without even using the Antutu, guys. CPU temperature was also raised here with the Mi Pad 5 Pro. So let's immediately test this right now. One, two, three, go. Okay, Ninjas, we are back. Temperature, CPU temperature 44, battery temperature 36. I repeat again, CPU temperature was 44, battery temperature 36. We're gonna save it right now, take a screenshot immediately, 70,000. Also, we're gonna quickly, I don't know why even it exited it. Uh, let me just check here. Uh, also, we're gonna test, uh, let's see here. Beautiful, we took it immediately. We took it immediately here. Battery temperature is very important guys, make sure to always follow the battery temperature, I will show you again, we're gonna redo again this test, but what we're seeing right now here, similar score guys, the, the Redmi K40 Poco F3 does have a slightly more score here, and you can see by yourself the memory regarding the RAM. There you go, you can see by yourself, check this out, yeah, you probably can see that, plus the, uh, which is very interesting, Mi Pad 5 Pro has a higher UX score. <laughs> Very score and also CPU score is higher with the Mi Pad 5 Pro. GPU is slightly score higher with the Redmi K40. Anyway, let's rerun again uh, while it's hot here. Both of them right now. Then two two. Check this out. Let's go with the second round. In just sad stories, but with the Mi Pad 5 Pro here, it cut off. But again, uh, I did uh, done two three times and two two tests with the Mi Pad 5 Pro previously. But again, I'm gonna exit now and rerun again on both of them. I will rerun again, I have to do this. Uh, let's just stop here. And you can see, because I have to notice that the temperature started dropping with the Mi Pad 5 Pro, so it's not that fair play. So we're gonna just rerun it again. I don't know, seriously, I don't know why it uh, stopped. One, two, three, go. Let's go, third run. Almost there, almost there, guys. This is the third attempt. Uh, we can see by self the battery on the Redmi K40 Poco F3. Battery is 39 degrees. With the Mi Pad 5 Pro is 31 degrees. Which is a big difference, man. Here we go, we finished with the Poco F3. Now we have slightly small, uh, uh, lower score. CPU temperature is 45, 46, 45, 46. The, the battery temperature is 38, guys. I took the screenshot. Now we're gonna just wait for the Mi Pad 5 Pro and Mi Pad 5 Pro, similar score, guys, similar score here. Also, I'm gonna take uh, take screenshot 31%, 31 degrees on the battery and CPU temperature is around 42 right now. It's dropping, of course. Everything is right now heavily dropping under. 
So that's it regarding the Antutu. You can see myself right now, they have similar score, guys. They have similar score, but again, we're gonna use the 3D Mark for more accurate sustained performance. Uh, we're gonna see how it looks. Uh, anyway, let's just right now turn off the Antutu. Uh, basically, uh, shut it down here. We're gonna close it from the background. You can see myself, nothing is open except this CPU float app. And when let's go with the Geekbench 5. Geekbench 5 here, the scores between a smartphone and a tablet. How it's gonna behave and note the battery temperatures and the CPU temperatures with both of these devices. I hope you can see that. Yeah, I hope you can see that. Yeah, you see it. Anyway, one, two, three, bismillah. Okay guys, it seems that the Mi Pad 5 Pro slightly uh, finished it earlier and the temperature here right now with the Geekbench 4, I uh, can see by myself, let's check it out right now. Uh, come on, come on, go away. 31 on the Mi Pad 5 Pro, 37 with the Redmi K40 Pro, guys. Come on, get up, man, from there. 37. CPU temperature 41, 34. Kim, okay, there is also difference in the Geekbench 5 right now. Uh, Multi-core score for the Mi Pad 4 Pro is higher. Single-core score is slightly higher with the Redmi K40 Pro. Okay, interesting. And anyway, let's go now with the next application. That is going to be the 3D Mark. Of course, the most interesting one I'm going to leave on the end. That is the Extreme app, the CPU throttling app. That's going to be very, it's going to be crazy, seriously crazy. Let's check this out, 3D Mark. And uh, this is the Wild Extreme. We're going to Wildlife Extreme there, immediately go. Uh, yes, let's go. Okay, uh, you can see by yourself, the temperatures drop down. We're going to test the 3D Mark uh, Wildlife Extreme. Let's go. Okay, here we go, the first test. Let's check this out, guys. Okay. Let me put this down. One, two, three, four. Performance monitoring. Let's go to, obviously, more heavy test. Wildlife extreme stress test. Let's check this out. Let's go. One, two, three. We are in the middle of the test, guys, of this, uh, of course, 3D Mark benchmark. Uh, battery on the Poco F3 is 38 degrees, CPU temperature 49, with the Mi Pad 5 Pro 33 battery temperature, which is really cool, very cold. The CPU temperature is 54. Somehow a bit higher right now at this percentage, uh, at this stage, the Mi Pad 5 Pro has a slightly higher CPU temperature. Uh, not that uh, that's not uh, nothing to worry about. The worry about is the battery temperature. That's what it means. If it goes higher, it can just go throttling, man. Okay, guys, finally finished. I just took screenshot. Battery temperature again, also just higher on the uh, Redmi K40 Poco F3. Uh, while check this out right now, difference in the stability way higher, of course, with the Mi Pad 5 Pro. Uh, it, it's insane. It's insane. Check it out the loop one, uh, 1231. And let's say go loop 20, uh, 1227, guys. Which is again just four, let's just say four percent down or four score down. Check it out between the Poco F3, uh, Redmi K40, uh, 1243, and the last loop is 1126. So around 100 points, more than 100 points, let's say more 100 points of decrease with the Redmi K40 Pro, uh, Redmi K40 Poco F3. Uh, battery from 73% to 64%, 74% to 66% for, uh, six, uh, 66%, so more battery uh, token with the POCO F3 Redmi K40, which is again insane, again insane, such a, a big, again it does have a bigger dis a bigger display and bigger battery, so again uh, we're not going to say that this is like right now a good comparison to compare battery uh, of these two devices, because it's a phone and tablet man, it just makes no sense. Frame rate 5 FPS to 11 FPS, frame rate 5 FPS to 9 FPS, <coughs> temperature to 39 degrees, temperature maximum to 34 degrees, which again, it's very low guys, very low for a, such a monster of a tablet here and a powerful chip. Beautiful, now we're gonna go again, we're gonna go to wildlife, we're gonna test right now wildlife guys, wildlife, wait, will we, will we test, yeah, wildlife, we're gonna test wildlife, uh, one, two, three, four, go, stay tuned for that one. 
Okay, now we're gonna test the wildlife stress test. I'll be showing you guys by the end also screenshots of all these tests, remember that. Battery 35, 30 on Nipad 5 Pro, Poco F3 has 35 degrees on a battery, this battery CPU. Uh, battery temperature, CPU temperature is 44 versus 43, similar CPU temperature with both of them right now. Anyway, let's go, let's go, let's go. This is gonna take around 15 minutes, yes, 15 minutes regarding that. I think, I think it takes around 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, so stay tuned for this uh, test, then we're gonna move finally to CPU uh, throttling test. There we go, finally guys, it's finished, also 15 minutes, so let's check it out here. Again, stability here with the Mi Pi 5 Pro guys, no throttling whatsoever guys, no throttling whatsoever, it's crazy. Battery temperature again around 38 degrees for the Poco F3, battery temperature for the Mi Pi 5 Pro is uh, 33 degrees. I have to admit that the POCO F3 Redmi K40 uh, on the left side uh, with the latest updates uh, so far I'm noticing here it has better uh, thermals, it has better thermals and you can see by stuff here the battery, let's check out the battery, 64 to 56 so that's basically what? 8%, 8% it took, while the POCO F3 63 to 53 it took 10%, 2 10, 2% more it took for this test guys. From 35 to 39, from 31 to 33, uh, to 34, 3 degrees rise, 4 degrees rise here, 16 to 32, 18 to 32 FPS. And regarding the uh, sustained performance stress test, like you see myself here, the loop one, 4,300, and the last loop is 3,900, guys. 3,900, we have 400 points uh, decrease in the performance uh, for the Poco F3. 400 and, uh, 4,300, let's just say 4,300 for the loop one. And we're gonna go here to 4,270. What, we have 30 uh, points of decrease, which is again, not at all significant, significant in gaming and performance, while the Poco F3, unfortunately, it will start throttling, guys, with a heavy, heavy stress test. And with some emulators also. Uh, anyway, uh, now let's go with the final test. Now we're gonna go with the final test, the CPU throttling app. I'm gonna close everything from the background here. Uh, let's check this out. Oh my God, this was a really stress test, I have to admit. And we're gonna do CPU throttling application here. You can see by stuff here, we're gonna be noting the temperatures. Let me just stupid, stupid, these big brothers domestic versions. Anyway, let's go here. So uh, we noted the temperatures, we noted the temperatures, again, one screenshot, two screenshot, and let's start this test. 15 minutes, guys, I'm gonna probably do half hour of stress test. Let me just check the physical temperature for you. Redmi K40 Pro has 36 degrees. Let's check this out, 36 degrees. Yes, 36, 37 now. Is raising because I started the CPU throttling. Anyway, Mi Pad 5 Pro, guys, 29, 30. Yeah, <laughs> 31, 31. So here on the bottom is the warmest, 31 degrees, here on the bottom, which is very interesting. Is it on the top here? Let's check it out. No, it's not. I don't see temperature here. Here, at this area is the warmest. Beautiful, 31 versus 37, 38. Big difference already at the start, guys. Big difference at the start. Anyway, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm already seeing here decrease a bit of fluttering there, just a little bit, but uh, it's still nothing to uh, worry, discuss about. We're gonna wait uh, the first, let's just say, first 10 minutes. And just, we almost uh, finished with the first uh, circle their first test here with the Redmi K40 Pro, uh, Redmi K40 Poco F3 and Mi Pad 5 Pro. Uh, to be honest, I'm for now satisfied by the Poco F3 Redmi K40, while with the latest updates they slightly improved the performance guys. Uh, it doesn't throttle as uh, before, but again Mi Pad 5 Pro here is a, is a clear winner guys, it's a clear winner. We have 38 again on the battery versus 34 with the Mi Pad 5 Pro. CPU temperature 64 versus 84, which is very interesting. It seems that the Mi Pad 5 Pro pushes more uh, the performance here and indeed guys, and probably you can already see here that the... Uh, there you go, let me just test, check this one, take it. We're gonna start immediately the second one. Yeah, you can see by stuff here the minimum. Just a minute, minimum here. You can see myself here throttling on the Poco F3 Redmi K40. 
So uh, yes guys, the POCO F3 does throttle but it's not that heavy throttling but you will feel it in emulators or gaming. You will feel it guys, you will feel it by the long term, uh, let's just say longer gameplay like half hour, one hour gameplay, you're gonna feel that and I already been discussing about that in my full in different view. Nevertheless, even if I already showed you some throttling, we're gonna still do the circle to the second round. Yeah, second round with these two devices for the end. I hope you enjoyed in this thorough, thorough in-depth test sustained sustained performance throttling test benchmark test with these two devices stay tuned and see you in 15 minutes okay so we are back guys of just 20 seconds and we're gonna finish with the second round of the cpu throttling uh, and you can see by yourself still throttling happens here with the poco f3 redmi k40 it's not that extreme it's not that heavy it's not that bad but still you're gonna notice it with the longer uh, gaming there and the uh, battery temperature is still really good. There's no overheating issues with the Poco F3 Redmi K40 Snapdragon 870, uh, which is guys again uh, after the, the after the updates they fix it. That guys the phone was overheating previously and now they fix it. I'm really uh, I'm really happy about that. I'm really happy about that. Now we're gonna go quickly to gallery here. We're gonna check here photos, old photos, benchmarks, screenshots. I have screenshots here, and we can begin. Okay, okay, this is what I done with the. Uh, with the Mi Pad 5 Pro previously, all these tests I've been testing previously here. Uh, check this out. All of this uh, previously, guys. This is right now me testing right now after the updates. So let me just go here to next test here, and here it is. The next test is here, and we begin from here. I'm gonna just disable right now the battery temperatures here. We don't need them anymore. So we started with a 2.2, and you can see myself here. This is what we have regarding the performance. With a 2-2 score, similar here, the Poco F3 did drop, and you can see by itself here, it did throttle here with a 2-2, while the uh, Mi Pad 5 Pro, uh, almost no change whatsoever, really good, the battery temp percentage here, 4% for this uh, test of the Antutu. Geekbench 5 also very good, very impressive for both of these devices. Battery also still higher, battery temperature and CPU temperature were also higher here with the Poco F3, Redmi K40. Then we went, we went with, uh, let me just see here, we went with the Wildlife Extreme stress test, yeah, yeah, stress test, just a minute, Wildlife Extreme, yeah, it's here, wait a minute, is this one, yeah, Wildlife Extreme stress here it is, sorry for the stress test, here it is, Wildlife, 4300, 4300, almost there, I'm gonna go back, Okay, recheck these ones. Wildlife stress test. There you go. Anyway, then we started with the CPU throttling app. You can see by self. Here we go. First round and then second round. So yeah, guys, like see by self, phone versus tablet. Tablet is a better gaming device, guys. But tablet is a better gaming device. Uh, Better cooling system here with the Mi Pad 5 Pro, uh, larger area for the heat dissipation, for heat to be equally uh, spread there, better throttling here, obviously better sustained performance altogether, uh, heating plus uh, throttling, it uh, is gonna destroy your gaming experience guys, and not just that, probably in the long term, maybe it's gonna even affect the battery life, who knows. Uh, nevertheless, Poco F3 Redmi K40, uh, such a big surprise after the updates, they fixed it, this uh, phone was even overheating and filtering more, but right now they fixed it guys, and now it came to the minimum, let's say like that. While the Mi Pad 5 Pro guys is just, it's a beast, it's a gaming beast guys, and check it out on my YouTube channel, The Gaming Test. Thank you for watching this video, hit that thumbs up, assalamu